Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mehul and welcome to your second Bootstrap tutorial in which we'll be discussing some more things about Bootstrap and from the next tutorial onwards we'll be finally getting our hands on with Bootstrap coding. Now, as I said in this tutorial we'll be discussing some more things about Bootstrap. We'll be looking at some of the examples which are provided by the official website and we'll be discussing the same. So if you go to the site getbootstrap.com slash getting started, you'll see a column right here, examples down here. If you see and if you look here, then you'll see that there are a lot of um you can say specific examples to a specific topic. For example, if I open the bootstrap theme right here, now you see here we have got a lot of buttons, toolbars, drop downs and all of these things exclusively made by this bootstrap team right here and you all of the stuff you see right here is just made by the use of the already coded bootstrap css files and javascript and nothing else all of these sliders and these text boxes these panels wells if you say that formally and all of these progress bars, alerts, navigation bars, drop downs, all of that. And there are tons of examples here the jumbotrons, the navigation bars, <coughs> the custom components, and all of that for your websites. Don't worry, we'll be taking a look at all of these one by one in future tutorials. But in this tutorial, I just wanted to show you some of the examples with bootstrap and why bootstrap is useful and yeah not to mention if I just like let me just open this page yet yeah. so this jumbotron page bootstrap websites are mostly responsive so you know it's it just depends on the developer whether he wants the website to be responsive or not but I would highly recommend you to create your website if you are creating with bootstrap to be <coughs> responsive because responsive websites is the most trending thing these days because they would just get you free from coding your another mobile version of website like doing like m.yourwebsite.com you'll be just you know just saving some time there so if you just dock that on the right or left and you resize this you see that the content adjust accordingly or if you don't want to do that you have got another tool in chrome which is the toggle device mode and if you just click that button right there and just undock that from the screen and you just play with right here let's say Apple iPhone 4 <coughs> excuse me and just reload this so you see now that I'm actually simulating an iPhone 4 here inside my Chrome browser and this circle you see the dark one is actually kind of my touch so that's how this website would behave ideally on an iPhone 4 and that's how this menu would look like and if I resize this that's how this would scale down or up according to the screen size so that's pretty much it that's what I, w I had for you guys for this tutorial and from the next tutorial we'll be taking a, our hands on to bootstrap coding and would we'll be coding some awesome websites as well so that's all for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then